here's a sheet part that's been dissected and opened. It looked just like this, and then all I did was open it up. Okay, so what we're looking at in this specimen is we can see the right and left ventricles just base it on size. And you guys remember that you try before you buy, right? So your tricuspid valve is the first door you have to shut between the atria and the ventricles. And then the bicuspid valve is the last door you shut uh, between the atria and the ventricles on the left side. Now by doors, of course, I mean valves, and we know that the valves shut at the same time, but we're just tracing the path of blood through the heart. So if we're thinking about that, we need to think, we're gonna go to the small side of the heart first, or the smaller right ventricle. Now on this particular picture, it's easy to see on the, sh on the heart model, but on this, it would, it's kind of hard because it's laid open like this. And so all you need to do is use your common sense and say, which one of these cavities is smaller? This one or this one? This one. And so we know that the smaller cavity or the smaller room on a heart is going to be on the right side because that's the side with deoxygenated blood. It doesn't need to be as strong. This muscle, this myocardium, doesn't need to be as strong on the right side because this side only pumps to the lungs and the lungs are right next door. So the smaller of these two cavities or rooms or ventricles, the smaller one is going to be the right ventricle. Now let's look on this side. Which one of these is smaller? If you said this one on top, you're right. This is the right ventricle. Now it goes on a bit inside. It's still smaller though than this room. And this heart has just been cut. So here it is on the anterior surface again. Here's the anterior of the heart. Here is the pulmonary trunk. Here's the pulmonary trunk. If I know that this is the pulmonary trunk and the pulmonary trunk is on the right side of the heart, then this must be the right side of the heart. And this is the smaller side. Keep your eye on this side and let me open the heart. Keep your eye on this side. Let me open the heart. Oh, yep. It's smaller right there and right there. So that is the right ventricle. Let's do that with the left side. I think you can figure this out, but this large area here is the left side. We know the left side is much larger because it has to pump to the body, to the brain, especially against gravity. Keep your eye on this side. Let's open it up. Aha. Here's the left side, much bigger. Remember? So the left side is much bigger. The muscle is much bigger on the left side. You can see the cordiae tendineae here. And you know that on the left side, the bigger side has the bicuspid valve. So if you see a valve on the big side, it's the bicuspid. B for big, for bicuspid, <laughs> for big side. Bicuspid, of course, means the number of cusp that you can see. But we'll think B for big, for bicuspid. So we think big ventricle bicuspid. The tricuspid valve is tiny and it's been torn on this one. You can see the moderator band here. 